and we are back for part two of our Let's Play Civilization V French Culture Victory Prince Level. I already got the game loaded up here, and uh, I will admit I've been a bit busy this past week, so not only is this going up later than I would have liked also, but I'm trying to remember what the heck I'm actually doing. So bear with me a little bit here as I kind of think about all of this. I remember I wanted to put a city somewhere down in this area because of all the... You got the horses, you got the silver, you got the gold. This would be a great... Um, what do you call it? City. Uh, gold city. Uh, Persia. It's Prague. Okay. guys down into here. Let's take out this bandit camp. Uh, Ooh, Prague likes me. Or at least is getting to be. Okay, what does Paris need right now? Let's see, we got National College. I think you could probably use an amphitheater though. So work on that culture. And then once that's done, we'll work on our next settler. So what are we working on for science? We're probably only going to build two, maybe three cities in total. We don't need the empire to be big. But we need to be functional. So who's working what? You're working that, you're working that. You're working there, and you're working there. So I'll probably put a mine up over there. Oh, well, that was just stupid of me. Yeah, you really need to, I really need to learn to pay attention sometimes. Unfortunately, I just stupidly stuck the... Uh, Stop my guys in an area where I could have gotten raided by, bar by barbarians, so like they're gonna try to do right now. But we're gonna defend them pretty well. combined might do some damage to these guys, but they should still survive. I think that's why I'm construction with the Paz of Bowman. Ooh, and to Terracotta Army. Oh, 
Okay, that was kind of cute. Or, uh, oh, yeah, we'll go with that. Oop, one of my friends just sent me a text message. Okay, so, <laughs> wait for those to take their turn. Somebody just got promoted. <laughs> you guys need to come back this way. We get them into our territory. About a settler. for next. So we're going to start making our way towards Pikeman. It used to be you would go for a theology. However, now it does. Uh, that's not so much the case anymore. Oh, sweet. We just got a golden age. You guys need to construct a pasture. production in there. Fifty percent excess happiness. juncture. But it'll get us to where we want to go. We, the real trick, especially on the harder levels, is trying to figure out where you want to... where you need to be in terms of defense too. Because if you focus everything on culture production, you will not have anything for defense. Right now, we are still on production base. If we do that, we got a seller in. I guess that puts us in two turns. Still puts us in two turns, so we'll kind of do that. We should go to our next turn. I 
don't remember when the Warriors actually get an upgrade. I think it's a ways, though. We need to start moving on this way because we need to start thinking where we're going to put our city. And I'm thinking probably somewhere here. So at least it'll have some ocean tile. And we don't want it to be too close, so one, two. Probably should put it. Because you gotta figure it's, it's, they can work up to three. Maybe we'll put it like here. We can put some farm here and around it on the hills, maybe a mine or so. There's still so not much over this way. I really like the idea of being on the coast, but I would have to stick it on the desert, and that's, that's too close. I don't know if I like that idea. So we might not have much of a sea power for a while, if if at all for a while. Oh, yeah, by the way, Prague. Hi. Where are we? We're at 56. Give a gift of 25 influence. Now we're going to start getting our culture again, which helps. <coughs> One of the reasons, too, you don't want to expand too fast early on with the culture victory is because every city increases the amount or the cost of each culture. And so... When you so when you are sitting there pounding away at the uh, pounding away at the cities and going for an expansionist standpoint, you end up hurting yourself in the long run because it costs you more money. You guys are alert for now. So you kind of want to take your time, plan out your cities. So if I stick it here, we're not going to be able to work this particular tile. But I got to admit, I kind of like that spot. But over here, gives us quicker access to the stone for the silver gold you know what I think we're actually gonna put it up on this hill so the game thinks that's a great place to put the city but that's the dumbest place to put the city um, for a silver horses stone you know what as much as I like Putting cities on a hill for the natural defense of it all, we're not going to. Just simply because of the fact that if we do, then it will end up becoming.
I think I'm gonna put it right here. You know what? Bleep it. I'm gonna put it on here. One, we already have some silver in. Really? That's why another thing about barbarians, I man, they spawn like crazy. Hopefully it won't take that long, but if it does, then so be it. We are gonna run. Artist. They're definitely nice. They can make huge culture booms. Oh. Horseback riding has just been one. Thankfully it was the pyramids, so not too worried about it. Pyramids are great if you're going to go an expansionist, but to me that's about all they're good for. I think I can live with that. food production for a little while mostly because of the fact that we need to grow production will increase once we get a couple of people in here and then, so what are you working right now anyways Another policy. Another step closer to wheat. Cool. Um, and another step closer to our utopia project. 50% of culture or one faith from shrines and temples. I don't know if I really care for that. We will eventually need to go there. Um, gold will help us. Cities which have built a world wonder, which will definitely help as well, too. I th think for now we're going to go with Mandate of Heaven. So, we increase our culture by three points. We have six excess units. Oh, I'm sorry, two points. Imperative. So I think we're gonna bring you down this way. And have you help out with that city. This may be a new city over here, just because of all the wheat. Well, it'll grow really fast. Mm. 
Mathematics is the gate and key to the sciences. And now we just finished mathematics. The next thing we're probably going to start working on is currency. And the reason for that is because we want to start increasing our gold production. So well, there's a key. So we want to put a farm down here to help it increase. Probably a pasture over here as well, too. We have a new citizen and about four turns. Which will help make things a lot quicker as well, too. Yeah, let's accept your embassy for now. Bal. I had one game that I really wish I had a... I think I may even have a savings of it. But it, I had inadvertently set up a... Um, really? Those other people are happier than us? You're kidding. Um, I inadvertently tried to set up an old world style game. And then it ended up becoming where I had two of Rome... Two of Carthage. No. You are not getting free stuff. Oh, look at that, we're gonna get currents anyways. Alright, and we got the Terracotta army, which is great. follow you into the deepest valleys. Look on them as your own beloved sons, and they will stand by you even unto death. Now let's have you build a farm. Let's go over this way. We're going to kind of explore around this area a bit more so we can kind of see what we're going to settle in, if there's anybody close. Okay, happiness plus two, which is good with that uh, with the bonus we have. Okay, but we need something. I'm gonna pop out on the worker, and then we're gonna think about doing oh. another time means to get food which is always good uh, I think it's kind of wrong to have a maritime city in the middle of the middle of the land, but hey, you know, whatever works, right? But because they're there, that means if we settle too close, we might put ourselves into a bad situation. This hilltop might not be bad. It'll take us a few turns to get to the wheat, but we'll have another. We'll have a stretch right into gold, and they're gonna take it from us, though. So, see, that's part of the downfall in waiting. Somewhat is you got to deal with that. However, even still, this. May not necessarily be a completely bad thing either. I haven't totally decided yet how this is going to play out. Guess we're going to have to wait and see. I see one of those yet. Even in my last game, when I, when I had Carthage, they weren't uh, they weren't close to me. Yep, they 
Legion is plopped down for the Golden Cattle, which is a bigger location. Those barbarians hopefully will give them a little bit of problems. So I think our next city is going to be up over here then. Um, just because there's wheat. Really not a whole lot else besides food, but we can turn it into a great person population. Yeah, apparently we need to put a mine there. Apparently neither of our cities are going to be able to work this. Out a cellar, we'll take our spearmen, we'll put our other composite bowmen back. What? The sun shines brightly on Ah, uh, do nothing for now. So, yeah, we really need to get that cellar out, like, quick. Stone work, which sucks, so I don't want them to have it. And we're going to start with technology. Get our civil service up a little bit quicker. Also, this isn't too bad either to have as a wonder. Almost about done with our. Let me say alert, just like a marker. Almost done with our playthrough for this week. So so far we've gotten our second city up, Orleans. We know right where we're gonna put our next city, provided it doesn't get taken from us, which is gonna be right over here. We'll probably buy a few tiles to kind of put it in. And to wrap things up. We're going to go ahead and pick our next policy. And we're going to... We need both of those, so... I guess we'll have to pick that. Also need to start thinking about building up our army some still too, because we don't want to have too weak of an army. We got seven spent on unit maintenance, two spent on building. And in 
five turns we'll have them there and we are going to go ahead and save it at this point so we will catch you guys next week as we go ahead and found our third city and start looking at increasing some gold production and getting our military up to par so we don't get our butts handed to us we'll see you next week